welcome to my channel my name is Nikki thank you for stopping by um, today I'm going to be doing a pour with milk paint I've been on the milk paint train um, I thought when I got my deco art satin enamels in that's what I was going to be using but I've just been wanting to do milk paint so that's what we're doing um, I'm going to go over my colors they're all Liquitex Basics. This one is Cadmium Red Light Hue. Uh, Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. Dioxazine Purple. And Thalo Blue. I'm also going to be using a metallic. This is the Anita's Metallic in Classic Gold. This is one of my favorite golds. Um, it's so pretty and shimmery. My milk paint mixture is made one part flow acrylic, uh, artist loft brand in white, and then one part milk paint in milky white. Now I'll show you, um, just, um, the size of what I mix up. These are two ounce bathroom cups. And I will fill one of them full of milk paint and put it in a container. And then I'll fill it full of the flow acrylic and put that in the container with it. And then I'll put two cups of my pour medium, two of these little cups of my pour medium. So it's one part milk paint, one part flow acrylic, two parts pour medium. And I put it in the container and mix it up. Um... I also added just maybe like five drops of the Liquitex Pour Medium because my cups are pretty small. I don't use this as a thinning agent. I use it um, to help it have a quicker dry time. So that's what I've got. I was going to use this cup, but I think it's too big. I'm going to use this one instead. So I'm going to start. I'm not going to start with the... Um, with the milk paint just because I don't want that white blob in the center like I normally get and I mixed these up a little while ago so they've thickened up a little bit that is one thing with the Liquitex pour medium it thickens up um, if you let your paint sit so I'm going to start by pouring this in there's no silicone in this um, in these paints so, got that in. Let's see how my um, phthalo blue is. Yep, it's gotten thick. I had it, I had perfect consistency. I was like, oh yes, I got all my paints. Perfect consistency. And then I started to record. And I record my videos on my, um, on my cell phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8, I think. And... The last update that they did, um, this is completely unrelated to painting, but whatever. <laughs> um, the last update that they did, it took up all my um, storage. So I had to get, and I don't have a lot of apps on my phone, um, but I had to get um, an, an SD card and put it in there so I could even like update my play store and so when I went to record the camera told me I only had three minutes of video available so I was not happy I've got two videos um, kind of edited on my little um, app that I use for editing and I didn't want to delete those because I haven't uploaded them yet. And, um, yeah. So I was trying to move them to my cloud, I guess. We don't call it. It's a drive. It's a Google drive because Google owns Samsung, I believe. But, um, I was trying to get them to load to the drive so that I would have enough space. Let me see. Let me check my gold. No, oh, I got my gold too full. I don't know why I mixed up this much because I'm definitely not 
happening. Usually if you put too much of this gold in here, it will take over very quickly. So I'm going to pour milk paint through it. And then I'm going to see if I can get one more layer. I'm trying to um, resist the temptation to mix up more paint than I need for one painting because I, I need to stop making multiple canvases of the same color. I'm running out of room to be honest. Um, so yeah. All right. So, I've got my paint in the cup. And I'm just going to do um just a straight pour. Now I know from watching Gina DeLuca's videos that the the cadmium yellow light hue makes cells um, on its own, so I don't know how it's going to behave, but we we will see. Let me see. I think that is enough paint on my canvas. Looks like I mixed up enough paint for two paintings anyway, didn't I? Alright. And then what I'm going to do... Let me... See. Because I do not want to dump all this on my painting. <laughs> I'm going to put some of my milk paint mixture in a smaller cup. I mixed up enough to put some in a container so I won't have to keep on mixing it up every time. I'm just going to pour this around and I can already see some cells forming. The last time I did a milk paint pour, one of my subscribers commented and told me that I would have better luck not applying heat and um, so I gave that a try and I believe she was right. I'll sh while this is sitting, I'll actually show you guys the painting I did that I didn't apply heat on or one of them I, I think I've done two and um, it's probably one of the prettiest milk paint pours I've done that didn't have any um, issues so I'm trying to pop these bubbles So let me grab this. I didn't record a video of me doing this painting, but um, this is a little 9 by 12 and um, I think it come out pretty good. Normally you, you have issue with milk paint um, looking a little grainy on the canvas sometimes and um, I don't see any of that in this painting so yeah I was really happy with how that come out so I'm gonna leave the heat off of it well look at oh you get out of my get out of my painting you nasty bug the mosquitoes are horrible I did a um varnish and I had to open my doors and windows because you cannot have that stuff in an enclosed space. The mosquitoes come in. Plus it's um, supposed to get bad weather tonight. I can, if you hear it, it's thundering. If you hear any kind of racket. 
um, it's thunder. Um, let me tip that to that corner. Bring it back to the center. <gasps> Can you guys see? I tried zooming in um, for you guys. I'm hoping it produces better quality for you guys. Um, where did I put my little cup? I lost the little cup. I'm going to add some more of this over here because it looks like it's gotten a little thin. So, oh my goodness, you guys. I'm loving this. So, tonight is Thursday night, and I'm trying to think for the weekend, Saturday, we're supposed to go to the coast and do a little shopping, so... I'm trying to make the most of what is left of my summer. I start graduate school on the 28th of August. So, and I've got three classes that I've enrolled in <clears throat> which one of them is a half semester class but still actually you know what those are kind of tougher because you're cramming 16 weeks into eight so it gets a little bit crazy let me pick my canvas up and test the weight I don't know. This is really making me happy. Um, I don't think I'm going to tilt it anymore. The weight is good. I don't feel it heavier in one spot than another. Um, yeah, wow. This, um, this recipe I've gotten for my milk paint and also not torching and also Liquitex Basics, I think has just like, wow. And if it's going to make that grainy look, normally I can see it. Um, and I don't see anything that's indicating that it's going to create that grainy look. So, wow. This is fantastic. I love it. Oh, I love it. All right. I'm going to let it sit for a minute and probably about 15 minutes. Um... And come back and show you if any more sales have developed. Okay? Okay, so we are back. It's been about 15 minutes. You guys, I love this painting. Um, and I actually did another one with the paint that was left over in the cup. I'm going to show you that one too because I didn't record it. But it's, um, I like it too. 
not as much as I like this one, but it is nice. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see there's more cells forming. I think it will continue to develop cells probably for the next 30, 45 minutes. Um, usually after an hour, it's done everything it's going to do. But, um, yeah, so let's bring you down and let you see um, this sort of, oh, it is so pretty, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, I know I sound like a kid about my painting sometimes, but, you know, if I can't get excited about it, it means I don't love it, so. I am in love with this. It's so pretty. So pretty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't wait to like share this with you all. And we got some of those little cells on this corner. So yeah. Okay. Well, what I'm going to show you is the other one I did. Um, I just poured it on a 12 by 12. But there's a lot of the milk paint in this. But it's very, I like it. It's very stormy looking. Um, so, yeah. That's it. Anyway, okay, awesome. I guess all the hassle was worth it. Um, Alright, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something. And I hope you have a good morning or evening or night, wherever you are. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.